Hello kids, I am Priyanka and I am back again with my new lecture of Nightangle and the Rose. She said that she would dance with me if I brought her red roses, cried the young student. But in all my garden, there is no red rose. From her nest in the oak tree, the Nightangle heard him and she looked out through the leaves and wondered. No red roses in my in all my garden, he cried, and his beautiful eyes filled with tears. Ah, oh, what little things does happiness depend? I have read all the wise men had written, and all the secret of philosophy are mine. Yet, for want of a red rose, is my life made wretched. Here at last, in a true lover, said the night angle, Night after night have I sung to him, though I knew him not. Night after night have I told his story to the stars, and now I see him. His hair is dark as hidneth and bluesome, and his lips are red as the rose of his desire. But passion has made his face like pale ivory, and sorrow has set all her seal upon his brow. The prince gave him a ball tomorrow night, murmured the young student, and my love will be of the company. If I bring her a red rose, she will dance with me till dawn. But there is no red rose in my garden, so shall I sit lonely and she shall and she will pass me by. She will have no heed of me, and my heart will break. Here indeed is a true lover, said the night angle. When I sing off, he suffers. What is joy to me? To him is pain. The musician waits it, will sit in their gallery, said the young student, and play upon their string instruments. And my love will dance to the sound of the harp and the violin. He buried his face in his hands and wept. Why is he weeping? asked a little green lizard, and he ran past him with his tail in the air. Why indeed whispered a daisy to his neighbor in a soft low voice. The night angle said that he was weeping for red rose. For a red rose? they cried. How very ridiculous, how very ridiculous, and the lizard little lizard laughed outright but the night angle understood the secret of the student's sorrow and she sat silent in the oak tree and thought about the mystery of love suddenly she spread her bluesome wings for the fight flight and sorrowed him sorrowed into the air she passed through the grooves like a shadow and like a shadow she sailed across the garden in the center of the grass plot was a beautiful rose tree and when she when she saw it she flew over to it give me the red rose she cried and i will sing you my most sweetest song but the tree shook its head my roses are white it answered but go to my brother who grow round the, down the sundial and perhaps he will give you what you want so the night angle flew, flew over the rose tree that was growing round the old sand dial. Give me a red rose, she cried, and I'll give you, and I'll sing you my sweetest song. But the tree shook his head. My roses are yellow, it answered, and as yellow as hair of mermaiden. But go to my brother who grow beneath the student window, and perhaps he will give you what you want. The night angle flew over the rose tree that was growing beneath the student window. Give me a red rose, she cried, and I'll sing you my sweetest song. But the tree shook it as my roses are red. It answered, as red as the feet of the dove, the redder than the great fan of the coral that wave and the wave in the ocean carven. But the winter has chilled my veins, and frost has nipped my birds. But the storm has broken my branches, and I shall have no roses at all this year. One red rose is all I want, cried the gnat angle. Only one red rose. Is there no way by which I can get it? There is a way, answered the tree. But it is too terrible that I dare not to tell it to you. 
Tell it to me, said the night angel. I am not afraid. If you want a red rose, said the tree, you must build it out of noise, music by moonlight and strain it with your own hot blood. You must sing to me with your breast against a thorn. All night long you must sing to me and the throne must pierce your heart and the life blood must flow into my veins and become mine. Death is the greatest price to pay for a red rose, cried the night angel, and the life is very dear to all. It's pleasing to sit in the gu- in the green wood and to watch the sun in his chariot of gold and the moon in his in her chariot of pearl sweet is the scent of hawthorn and sweet are the blue balls that hide in the valley and the herd that blows on the hill yet love is better than life and what is the heart of a bird compared to the heart of a man so he spread her brown wings for flight and shot into the air so swept out over the garden like a shadow and like a shadow she sailed through the groove the young student was still lying on the grass when where she had left him and the tears was not yet dry in his beautiful eyes be happy cried the gnat angle be happy you shall have your red rose I will build it out of music by moonlight and strain it my own heart blood. If that all that I asked of you is return is that you will be a true lover. The student looked up from the grass and listened, listened but he could not understand what the night angel was saying to him for he only knew thing that there are written down in the books but the oak tree understood and felt sad for what he was found very fond of night angle who had built her nest in the branches sing me one last song he whispered and i shall feel when you are gone so the night angle sang to the oak tree in a voice was like water bubbling from a silver jar when she has finished the song the students got up and pulled a notebook and a pencil and when the moon shone in the heaven the night angle flew to the red rose tree and set her breast against the thorn all the night long she sang with her breast against the thorn and the cold crystal moon leaned down and listened all night long she sang and the thorn went deeper deeper into her breast and her life blooded embedded away from her on the topmost spray of rose tree there bloomed a marvelous red rose petal flowing petals and song followed song the night angle and the rose but the tree cried to the night angle to press closer against the thorn press closer little night angle cried the tree to the or the day will become before the rose is finished so the night angle pressed closer against the thorn and louder and louder grew her song and a delicate flush of pink came from into the leaves of the rose and the tree cried to the night angle to press closer against the thorn press closer light little night angle cried the tree or the day will come before the rose is finished night angle press closer against the thorn and the thorn touched her heart and fierce pang of pain shot through her bitter bitter was the pain and wilder and wilder grew her song for she sang of love that is perfected by death of the love that dies not in tomb and the marvelous rose became crimson like the rose of eastern sky but the night angel voice grew fainter and her little wings began to beat and a film came over her eyes fainter and fainter grew her song and she felt something choking her her in her throat then she gave one last burst of music the light white moon heard it and she forgot the down and lingered to into the sky The red rose heard it and it trembled all over the acacia and opened its petals peals to the cold morning air look look cried the tree the rose is finished now but the night angel made no answer for she was lying dead in the long grass with a thorn in her heart and at the noot noon the student opened his window and looked out why what a wonderful piece of luck he cried here is a red rose i had never seen any rose like it all of my life and he leaned down and plucked it then he put on his hat and ran to the professor house with the red rose in his hand the daughter of the professor was sitting in the doorway reading blue silk on the reel and her little dog was lying at her feet you said that you would dance with me if i bought you a red rose cried the student here is the reddest rose in the world 
you will wear it tonight next to your heart and we will dance together but the girl frowned i am afraid it will not go with my dress she answered and beside the chamberlain nephew has sent me some real jewels and everybody knows that jewel cost far more than flower well upon my words you are very ungrateful said the student angrily and he threw the red rose in the street where it fell into the gutter and a cart wheel went over it what a silly thing love is said the student as he walked away and that was all about this chapter thank you